and welcome to Principles of Macroeconomics, so Econ 202. I'm going to do this intro video for both the live and the online class, so I'm going to kind of address both issues for you. And uh, we're going to talk about the, the class, what it's like, what to expect. We're going to talk about the weekly assignments. We'll also talk about the term project that we're going to do this term. And finally, we'll talk about uh, the exams. So, so this class, if you're taking it uh, online, it's, it's pretty straightforward. I try to put out a lot of uh, videos and support information for you as you're doing that. If you're taking the class live, this class is going to be set up uh, as a flipped class. And what that means is the main uh, lecture component, right, and the studying and all of that, it's going to be done outside of class. So I'm going to have lecture videos and things for you to watch in the unit. So there's going to be three units in the class. Each unit has a certain amount of chapters. In the units, in the chapter folders, there's going to be videos available, both live and online. For the online class, I also include some other support videos for the workout problems that, that uh, you'll be doing as well. Anyway, so that's that's kind of how it's set up. So that's what the flip classroom is for the live uh, students is it's going to be all the lecture and preparation is going to be outside of class. In class, we're actually going to be doing the workout problems in class together. The, with this class, it's going to be a little different. For, for everybody, there's going to be a open textbook that's that we're going to use for the class. So the open textbook is, has a free online version. I give you a link to that uh, at the bottom of the Start Here page. So there's going to be an intro to the textbook with a link. There's also a link and some information about the textbook on the syllabus as well. And so it's going to be a free textbook. So hopefully that'll be good for you. I'm going to provide some additional uh, support and things for um, for the textbook and, and the lectures and all that as well. So hopefully there will be enough support and enough information. I know the textbook is actually really good. It's through uh, the OpenStax uh, Consortium for Open uh, Educational Resources. So it's a good textbook. Looking at the syllabus here, so there's a link over on the left of the uh, Blackboard site. So there's the syllabus and a schedule link. Syllabus has all the normal information that you usually see on a syllabus. My contact information, my office hours, course description, and it also talks about the components of, of uh, your grade, which, I'm, which we'll talk about now. So for, I kind of divide things up uh, what type of assignment it is or how you get the grade, right? How you get the points. So the first thing that's on this list here are exams, right? So there's three exams that we're going to have. The exams are going to be for for students that are taking the course live. They're going to be administered live in class. For those that are online, the tests need to be, or the exams need to be taken in a TVCC testing center or with a TVCC testing center approved proctor. So if you can't go to a TVCC testing center, you can set up an approved proctor through uh, the TVCC testing center, they can help get one set up for you. So those are the exams. Uh, they're gonna consist of multiple choice questions as well as workout problems. So the workout problems we do in class, you're gonna see a variation of them on the exams. For weekly assignments, there's going to be discussion posts that you're gonna need to be doing for each chapter. They're gonna be required this term for both online and live. The discussion posts are, are required points. The discussion posts are going to be, there's two things you need to do to get points for, for each uh, discussion post. You need to post an original thread, and then you need to reply to a classmate's posting. Okay, so if, once you do those two things, then I'll be able to grade it and give you some points for the discussion board. Uh, the other thing we're going to do weekly is going to be a workout problem. The workout problem is going to be due at the end of the week on Saturday at midnight. You can submit them in, in many different formats. I just need to be able to open them up to grade them, right? Formats that I like to open up and grade or that I'm able to are going to be anything in Microsoft, right? So Word, Excel. Um, I can open up and, and grade pretty easily the PDFs. There's also some students, or actually a lot of students, will do their workout problem with a pen or a pencil, 
and then they'll take a picture with their cell phone or they'll scan it in and then they'll submit the picture and the, or the scan. So that's something that you can do as well. Just one thing to remember on the workout problems, I give you a lot of support and to help make sure you get the workout problems correct. Do your own work for the workout problems. Uh, you can maybe work with a classmate, but make sure you do your own work and submit your own work. Uh, that's not a, it's not a group assignment per se. You can submit your own work on the workout problems. Uh, the next thing that we're going to be grading is a term project. So there's going to be a term project. It's going to be in the form of a blog, right? So there's going to be four postings you need to make on the blog. Four, and what they're going to consist of is four different current events related to macroeconomics. Things we're learning in, in class. Uh, there's some instructions and a rubric that are back on the website that you can refer to to see how I'm going to grade those. You can use the, so here's, here's the term project blog link right over on the left in Blackboard. So each, each of the posts are, have their own submission link. Up at the top is the instructions and the rubric. For each of these blogs, you can uh, use this, the link goes into the Blackboard blog tool. So you can actually do your blog here, right? So you gotta click create blog entry and you can use your use the, the Blackboard blog tool to do that. You can also use other uh, blog websites if you like to blog or if you know how to do this, that's great. Go out to WordPress, for example, or go to Blogspot or Blogger, any of the blogging websites out there, if you wanna use those, they're really good and they make your blog look really fancy and nice. You can do that as long as you go back to this link, you actually submit, instead of your whole blog in this link, you actually need to copy and paste the link from that blog website that you're using to this entry and then go ahead and post the entry, okay? That way I, when I go and grade, I can see what you've submitted. I can go out to that link and, and read it and grade it and come back here and give you your grade. That's the term project four current event blogs, and they're gonna be about every three weeks. If you go to the schedule here on Blackboard, this is the detailed schedule. It pulls up as an Excel file. You're gonna see that about every three weeks, you're gonna have a blog post to, to submit. So on week three, again on week five, uh, there's another one on week seven, and then week 10. So two to three weeks in between those, you're, you're gonna do that for, for your term project. That's the term. I'm really excited about the term. Have a good term. Talk to you later, bye.